Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the brand new update for Adobe XD. This is the first update of the year. This is the January 2021 update. So in this video, we're going to go over all the new features. This month we have three to take a look at. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. The first and biggest feature of this month is auto animate for dash and gap patterns. This is going to allow us to animate strokes and dashes and gaps for them in your XD files. So here I have this basic profile icon and it's got a border of a size of 10 with this nice glass effect. So if I want to animate this, I'm going to copy and paste it and let's just set it to a solid white with 100% fill. I can go into the dash and the gap and say, let's do zero on the dash and 1000 on the gap. That should be large enough to where you can barely see this little sliver and then the gap goes all the way around over 1000 so we don't see another line. I can duplicate this artboard and then select that and now I can set the dash to 1000 which should fill the circle white because the dash goes all the way around the circle. So if we were to prototype this, let's just grab that icon drag it over, auto animate on tap, and we'll just do two seconds. And then we'll do the same thing back. So if we were to hit live preview on this, when we select our profile icon, it animates that stroke with the dash and gap values. We can also click that to return. So that's just one little trick you can do with animating dash and gaps, but that's the first feature of this month, being able to auto animate dash and gap patterns. The second new feature is not really much to look at, but it's new view options for XD mobile apps. When you preview an app prototype on your phone, whether that's on the iOS or Android Adobe XD app, it's now going to scale to fit the height and width of your screen instead of having black bars at the top, which sometimes happen when viewing your prototypes in the mobile app. And the third and final new change to the program this month is CC Libraries Improvements. Working with bugs and just overall the performance of the Creative Cloud Libraries has been enhanced. So that's the three new features or changes to Adobe XD in the January 2021 update. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you leave it a like. Subscribe for more design and Adobe XD related content. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.